This is a story about how governments, activists, and commercial companies were able to pull together against a cruel threat to marine ecosystems. In the 1990s, several fish stocks in the Southern Ocean were on the verge of collapse. Intensive, illegal fishing was threatening fish populations and even seabirds. Dodgy vessels played a sophisticated cat and mouse game with the authorities by continuously changing flag states, vessel names, and color. By the mid-1990s, the situation had grown critical. Illegal operators were causing licensed fishers to lose hundreds of millions of dollars. The Patagonian toothfish was approaching commercial extinction, and the albatross was in trouble as well. The huge seabirds were often drowning after becoming entangled in long lines intended to catch the toothfish. The seas around Antarctica are managed by the Commission for the Conservation of Antarctic Marine Living Resources. But that organization lacked the expertise and the financing to truly deal with illegal fishing. An international mobilization against the criminal industry was born. Concerned members of small NGOs in Norway and Australia began conducting their own investigations to identify illegal operators. The Australian fishing industry, which was suffering serious losses from illegal fishing, contributed knowledge and contacts. In short order, environmental NGOs and the legal fishing industry created a network of experts, fishers, researchers, and activists. United under a new organization called ISOFISH, the new network began mapping the actors, vessels, ports, and countries involved in illegal fishing. By the end of the 1990s, the Commission and ISOFISH were able to point to substantial reductions in unlicensed fishing. But the illegal activities re-emerged early in the 2000s. This time around, the licensed fishing industry led the fight. Millions of dollars were invested in lobbying, surveillance, and investigation. Colto, an industry coalition, produced wanted posters in 18 languages offering up to 100,000 U.S. dollars for information leading to arrests and convictions. These industry initiatives, combined with efforts from environmental NGOs and increasingly muscular policies developed by member states in the Commission, led to further reductions in illegal fishing. In 2004, France and Australia started patrolling parts of Antarctica on a regular basis, both with military vessels and with satellite surveillance. It's taken more than 15 years, but international collaboration between environmental NGOs, the fishing industry, and governments has sharply curtailed illegal fishing and helped preserve the unique ecosystem around Antarctica.